Oh, we get the vets one. We, oh, because you've got a sore toe. Which toe? Oh, it does look sore, doesn't it? We're those weirdos, a family of seven. Nearly three years ago, we gave up our conventional lives to live, travel and work in our self-converted Sprinter van. In July 2021, with the increase in travel restrictions caused by Brexit and the pandemic, we decided to buy off-grid land in Portugal to live a more sustainable lifestyle. Follow along with our journey as we turn our beautiful but derelict land into our very own slice of off-grid heaven. Wildlands. Hello. For today's vlog, I'm going to tell you all about Juan and his very sore toe. We had to take Juan to the vets today because one of his toes was um, really swollen and inflamed and he was uh, licking it lots. He'd been doing it for about a week and a half and I'd tried washing it with salt water, I tried um, putting cream on it that had worked before in the past and nothing was doing the trick so we had to go to the vets. So we did our 20 minute drive into Castello Branco where we went to the vets who gave us an appointment. It was next day, we called them last night. I uh, know. We emailed them last night and they gave us an appointment today, which was fantastic. The vet in there is lovely, she's really friendly and she speaks very good English. So I was very grateful for that because my Portuguese is still terribly poor, although I am having a go at learning. Poor little Juan. First of all, he's wearing the cone of shame. And second of all, he's got to have lots and lots of treatments. So the first treatment with, this is a massive pack of gauze. I hope we don't get through it all. So with gauze and Betadine. We have to clean his little wound paw on his uh, toe twice a day and then we have to put this cream on it and once he's had it cleaned and creamed he then gets what we have here. We've got to have a half of one of these and a half of one of these. One of them is an anti-inflammatory and the other one is uh, an antibiotic. So he's going to do that for five days and wear his cone all the time so he can't lick it and then hopefully next week when he goes back into the vets for his checkup appointment he'll be getting much better. We also have to keep his foot clean. Uh, the vet said uh, keep, keep him in your house if you can so, um, so that's going to be interesting. Luckily we do have the drive covered in uh, the big thick gravel so Juan's going to spend his outdoor time sitting on a blanket on that to keep it clean and not running around on the dirt and he'll have to have supervised slow walks up and down the gravel so he's going to be absolutely thrilled by that I should imagine. I'd like to take this opportunity to address a concern that quite a few people have as well. We have a lot of comments from people saying why are the dogs leashed, why are they chained, why aren't they free and uh, here's the answer. First we'll deal with Bogey. Bogey's 15, he's deaf, he's got dementia and he's always on the lead. Uh, when we take him for walks he's on the lead and when we're at the land he's on the lead because if we don't leave him on the lead then he goes wandering. He's not very good at walking anymore either because his singular back leg gives way and he tends to stagger around so if we let him off the lead he'd stagger off down the land, fall in a hole and he wouldn't hear us calling him uh, so that's that's obviously not a good option for him. Um, he's quite happy to sleep on his bed all day long and then sleep in the van all night long. But Juan, he also always needs to be on a lead, but that's slightly different because he will go for a sniff and a wander and a poodle and he'll just wander off onto the adjoining land without two thoughts about it and if we call him and he's got a good sniff, he won't even hear us calling, so he won't come back. Um, and we like to know where he is at all times. There's uh, stray dogs, there's stray dogs in packs here, so we don't want that happening to Juan, we don't want him to get lost, and we also don't want him to scare anybody else, or their goats, or chickens, or anything like that. If he, um, if he gets surprised, he's very yappy, so that's why they're always leashed. Now, they may always be leashed, but it's not the same as having a little short chain, and they're in the same place all day long and all night long, in the cold and the weather and whatnot. If it's raining or chilly, they come in the van. Juan has a duvet of his very own in the van that he sleeps on. 
and th when they're outside they have long leashes so we usually tie them around a tree and they've got enough lead that it means they can go and sit in the sunshine if they want to get warm and they can come and sit in the shade if it gets too hot they've got water out there and uh, and we're always out and about with them we're always giving them fuss and chatting to them and seeing if they need moving or a blanket to go in so please don't worry yourselves about our dogs they're very well loved very well looked after thanks very much for watching my vlog I'm going to leave you with two minutes of peace and I will see you in a couple of days.